So now in this video, we'll see how to use Android Studio. So once we have done all the installation, we'll, we'll try to uh, open Android Studio now. So let's open Android Studio. So once you open Android Studio, it will take some time to load. And yeah, you can see it is powered by IntelliJ, which is a product of JetBrains. So this is the this is the window you'll be seeing once you open Android Studio. Since I have uh, worked on Android Studio a lot, so uh, I have all these applications here. Uh, if you're doing it for the first time, you'll not be having any recent projects. So what you have to do is you have to create a new project. Okay, so just click on this new project here. You have to provide an application name here. Since this will be our first code, what we'll do is we'll name this as my first Android or my first app. Okay, so that's our app name here. Uh, we need to also provide a package name. So basically when you provide a domain name here, so let's say uh, whenever you make a project in Android and if you want to deploy that app on Play Store, so what we need there is we'll require a package name. Uh, you, require, you require a unique package name for your project. So it is basically a package. It's a folder where you'll have all your files. Now how to make sure that you have a unique package throughout the world? So make sure you have your package name which is reverse of your domain name. So if your domain name is talisco.com, okay, which is my domain name, so your package name will be com.talisco. So it's a middle of your domain name. Now once you do that, let's click on the next button. And now what we'll do is, here you have to mention now your, uh, so it will ask you for the app you want to work on. So maybe you're, you're, you want to make an app for phone or tablet. Uh, you want to make an app for Android Wear, which is Android Watch, or you can make it for TV, Android Auto, which is uh, for car, and then maybe for glass. For this, we'll be making phone, right? And there are lots of versions for Android. So we have, it's all starts with 1.1, sorry, 1.0, 1.1, then we have Cupcake, Donut, Eclairs. So currently we are working with uh, OS, which is Android Marshmallow, right? Which is latest version. So if you make an app for Marshmallow, so you can see we are mentioning here as minimum SDK, which means if you are making an app for Marshmallow, it will only work on Marshmallow. It's because Marshmallow provides you many features. And if you are making an app using those features, which is not dead in Lollipop, which is not dead in KitKat, so your app will not work on the lower levels. So you can see it says uh, targeting API 23, which is Marshmallow. And there are approximately 1.3% devices which works on Marshmallow. So if you're making an app for Android using uh, on Marshmallow, it will only work on Marshmallow, which is only approximately maybe uh, 10 million devices. So what you should be doing is instead of working on Marshmallow, select a API level like Jellybean, which provides 94% or maybe, yeah, we can, we can select anyone. Uh, in my machine I'm using, um, I have installed uh, the SDK for 4.1, I will be going for 4.1 here. So I, my, my app will work on 94% of the mobile devices. So that's okay for me. Then click on next. Now it will ask you for different activities. Uh, so if you have, uh, there, are, there are multiple choice here. You, have, you can have a blank activity, you can have empty activity, you can have full screen activity. You can also create an app for uh, Google Maps by yourself or maybe a login activity. Now since this, is, this will be your first application, what we will do is we'll select empty activity. So you can see in empty and then blank activity, there's one difference. Uh, there's a floating button here and a settings, which is not there in empty activity. It is preferable to have your own uh, coding there. So we'll choose empty, empty activity here and then we click on next. Now it will ask you for two names. The first one will be the Java file name because see what is Android is basically uh, the, the design of your Android form or frame will be done with the help of XML and the working of your uh, Android will be done by Java files. So this is the name of your first Java file and this is, the, this is the name of your activity which is the XML file. Now if you uncheck this, you will only get Java file, you will not get uh, the layout which is the design. So we'll check this part and you will also get the XML file since we want both and we'll click on finish. Now once you click on finish, it will Okay, it will take some time. So it's taking time. So if you know about, if you don't know about Gradle, uh, so what is Gradle here? It's a build tool. 
So whenever you build a project, so you require some things like libraries, structure. So there are two ways you can take this structure. One way is using Maven and second is Gradle. So if you're a Java developer, you, you might be knowing about Maven. So Gradle is almost same as Maven uh, with different types of syntax, but it's almost same. Android uses Gradle. If you make a web project, you might be using uh, Maven at that time. So now when you open Android Studio, so let me just close these two windows. Uh, so this, this is how your Android Studio looks like. So the version I'm working with is the version 1.5. You can see I'm using 1.5.1 Android Studio. And now, so this is the project you have, which is called as app here. And if I expand this, so you'll, you basically you have three folders. One is manifest folder, then we have Java folder, and then we have RES folder. If I open manifest, and you can see we have android manifest.xml. Now what this file is, so whenever, let's say you are building a project, in your project you'll be having multiple files, right? Every file or every screen you have is will be called as activity. So the, we have the first activity here. That's how you create activity. Again, we'll go into, we'll go into deeper in this uh, later, not now. So let me just close this and let's focus on this too. So this is your RES folder in which you have multiple folders now. Let's focus only on layout. Uh, in layout, you can design your web pages. Oh, sorry, not web pages, but the Android uh, screens. And in this, you have you'll be having different different XML. So for one frame, you'll be having one XML. And if I open Activity Main, so you can see we got two options here. So you can design your app using uh, GUI or drag and drop feature, or you can design your app using text. So if you click on text, you can just uh, change your uh, design here which will reflect on this screen and it's very it's damn uh, what do you say responsive if you make any changes in XML it will directly uh, reflect on the design and yeah so let's say you want to you want a text field so you can just uh, take this text field here where's text field uh, yeah so we have a text field which is plain text and then you can drag from this this to your page okay it's that simple Okay, so that's how you drag it, right? Now, uh, what next we have? So we have, yeah, so this is the properties. So if you, for anything you have here, you can set the properties. Again, we'll do that in the next video, how to set all these things. And if you run this app, uh, it, you, you can see the output in uh, two ways. Either you can see the output on mobile phone or you can see the output in the emulator. Of course, right, when you design a page you, or when you work on an Android app, you want to test it right so either you'll be using mobile phone to test it or you can test it on emulator now how to start an emulator uh, so you know, before that this is your web page this is your design okay using this you can design everything and this is the code page which is uh, if you go to java and then we have main activity so this is your java code page if you want to perform any actions so java will help you here uh, so we'll not make any changes any, anyway we have a hello world here and if you run this code uh, it will take some time uh, so okay so you can see if you if you are connected your Android phone with your machine it will give you option choose running devices so it, you will see your mobile phone here uh, otherwise you can choose launch uh, emulator by default if you don't have any emulator here or any uh, device here what you can do is you can go you can click on this three dots uh, I already have two devices here. If you don't have, you can click on create virtual device and you will see lots of options here. We can select Nexus 5 or Nexus 5X and then click on next. Then you can choose which OS you want to work with or with uh, AIB time bin. Let's not focus on that. Let's click on Lollipop and then click on next. Here they will ask you in which orientation you want to work, maybe a portrait or landscape. You will select portrait. And uh, you can increase the amount of RAM or CPU you want to assign. You can select RAM. Uh, since I have uh, 8 GB RAM in my machine, I can allocate more RAM to it. And yeah, that's it. That's how. That's all the settings you need. Don't change anything. Just keep it default and click on Finish. It will give you that uh, emulator here. Okay. Uh, now let me just close this. Or oh, we'll, uh, we'll let, let, let me just close this and we'll select the launch emulator. I will select 5x which is configured in my machine. Okay and then I click on OK. Uh, it will take some time for the 
for loading of emulator you can uh, by the time uh, there are certain sections here so we have terminal uh, on the command prompts or not the command prompt but in android studio then we have android monitor so you can monitor all your activities which is done in your emulator on your in your phone so since it is initializing it will take some time uh, you can also uh, see this running command so this is very important when you uh, work with android we have to work with a h a x m uh, to work with your emulators okay so you can see it's taking some time so what i will do just pause the video okay for some time and then once it is open i will show the output now you can see my app is my, my emulator is on and then my app is loading and we got hello world here so this is how your emulator looks like so this is your emulator now you got a nexus 5x even if you don't have a physical phone you have a virtual phone here right so this is your nexus 5x and this is how you have to run the file now in the next video we'll do some editing on the code and we'll see the output in the emulator so yeah that's it from this video so make sure you subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching